We live in a culture of immediacy. We all share a desire to be unique and tell our story through the clothes that we're wearing. But for many, designer trends often feel out of reach. Is there another way to approach fashion? We're here in Bernardo's Brixton during London Fashion Week and today we're going to be recreating London Fashion Week looks in real time using only what we find in this charity shop. I'd like to facilitate a shift in the way that we interact and approach our clothing. I think Charity Fashion Live is a nice interruption to the throwaway um, culture that is pervasive within consumer fashion today. As a fashion stylist, I've always been really interested in clothing that's kind of passed down. There's a real beauty in finding unique pieces that have a story, that have been through other people's hands. You know, there's that nostalgia and that emotion around having something that you know has been with somebody else. So I came up with Charity Fashion Live because for me it's kind of the truest expression of how on trend secondhand clothing can be. There's no trickery or fakery, it is what we find here. It's creativity at its quickest. As a designer I'd love to see one of, the, one of my looks created um, at the Charity Fashion Live event because I think uh, what I love about creating pieces and making clothes is seeing how people interpret them. I love people interacting with my work and you know showing what it means to them and their own interpretation of it, so I'd love to see it. Can't wait, in fact. It does, as a photographer, yeah, it makes you nervous. There's no time to do loads of retouching or anything like that. It's like your normal photography timeline, just compressed. It seems so impossible when you're doing it, and then every look you churn out, you're just like, yeah. Everybody in the team gets really hyped up. Although I've obviously been doing this for a while and I know that we're going to find the stuff, you know, it's still always a really lovely surprise. Yeah, that's great. Chin up slightly. As a society, it's really important that we break that habit of just buying and disposing. When clothes and textiles go into landfill, they're one of the highest producers of carbon emissions as they rot down. An event like this is hugely important because it engages people not just with the financial value of their clothes, not just with the idea of waste, but it actually shows that clothing doesn't need to be boring in order to be sustainable. What we're trying to do is move away from a, from a disposable culture and move more into a culture of retaining, loving, taking care of and making last those clothes that we have. Bernardo's is a charity that I've supported from when I was about four or five years old. We had a Bernardo's little house collection box. And I think the work that they do with underprivileged families and children, you know, in the UK is so important. The ultimate goal with Charity Fashion Live is to inspire people to think differently about the way that they interact with clothing and also to kind of get people to consider charity shopping as a really viable and exciting option. There's so many great pieces that can be found in the charity shop.